Hello and welcome to another session of How To. Today we're going to look at how to balance my inventory from my stock value to my trial balance or balance sheet. To do this on a monthly basis, you should run the following reports. One would be the stock value. How much stock do you have at the end of each month? Either print this report off or at least check it. The report type I use in just finding out how much money I have invested in my inventory is a condensed report. Skipping the zero quantities, going to my screen, and finding out exactly how much money I have invested in my stock value of my pieces there. In this particular case, a little over a million six is what I'm looking for. Now, is that correct? Well, you will now go and find out through Cougar on the control report. Again, this report should be done on a monthly basis. And what it does, it finds out the difference between, if there's any mistakes, between what you have up on hand versus the cost quantity. So if I add this column up here, that should always equal to the on hand. The on hand is an item that is always a summary. That's why you can't change it. What can I do change though is the uh, quantity here of the cost quantity. And the reason is these are done in detail forms. They come over from AP, they come over from inventory itself if you make any adjustments. But this column here should add up to this column here. So we find out if there's any mistakes, we run the control report. And we run it for, of course, everything. So we put it onto the screen and find out it doesn't do it by detail. You've already run that in the stock value report. What this report does, it runs it by the inventory code. If there was any errors, it would be on this report here. It would tell you the difference between what you have as a summary total and the cost quantity or detail total. In this particular case, we have no errors. And we look at the total amount of money, and that matches exactly with what we did on our stock value report. Now the question is, does it check and balance to what we have on our trial balance? Each one of these codes here should have a different general ledger line. That way we can find out through each one of my codes, then we can find out through my codes if each one of these and the dollar amounts matches to my trial balance. To do that, we don't go out to general ledger, stay in the same module, but open up your inventory codes. When you open up your inventory codes, and we'll take a couple as an example here, is we'll take and look at the large ones. Access here, if I look at that for the accessories, is that it has its own GL line. And before I look at it, I should have a total of $505,000 worth of inventory, according to my report. So when I view that, I do. I have $505,000, and the dollars are a little bit off. As you can see, 81 cents. This is done because I'm carrying a four-digit cost code. So instead of just being 2610, I have maybe 26.0952. And because of that, percentages can cost a couple pennies every month. In this particular example, the totals are 81 cents over. So in this particular case, I could make a journal entry and put that 81 cents in to subtract it from this account and add it to my cost of goods. Or I can leave it, and it will be balanced forward the following month to make sure it's right. And at the end of the year, make one correction rather than 12 corrections. Now, another example of this is looking back at our next code. Our next code, which is the inventory one code, 
is we look at the account. Again, it's a different account, and it should be $733,000. If I view that in the general ledger, it is, and it's 320 and dot 84. So in my particular case here, I'm short 76 cents, while the other one was plus 81 cents. So really, it's not that far off. Again, I can make it, if I wanted to, a journal entry where I make it exactly to the pennies and use the cost of goods sold as the opposing account. Let's take a look at our last one. This is our inventory two code, 1206. And it should be $218,000. It's 218, 624.99, I'm off a penny here. So the degree of how far off you wanna be is how many places you take your pricing. So if uh, that doesn't bother you, then you can probably make the correction as a journal entry at the end of the year. That concludes our how-to balancing our inventory. If you have any other questions, feel free to call our customer service department at 800-388-3038, and they'll be glad to assist you.